One of the things I love most about giving you guys early reviews is it allow you to know if you really like the shoe. So many times we've seen photos of sneakers on the internet and they don't look remotely like what we think they're gonna look like when we actually bomb in hand. Hey, smash up the video if you guys enjoy the early content as of late. The videos are doing well, bro, but the like button is not being smashed. Like, I don't know what y'all on. Also, man, I'm streaming on Twitch, so check out the link down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. As you guys seen in the thumbnail, in the title, we have a very special early sneaker here in the studio today. We have the Air Jordan 1 High 85, Georgetown. Let's get into it. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown. It is your boy, Sniper Jones, and I am back with another review. As I mentioned to you guys, this is another early review I've been able to bring to you with the help of the best sneaker store or the best consignment store in Atlanta, which is Hype 24-7. As always, they will be linked down below. I've done Nike Dunks, I've done Air Jordan 1s, and I even got some more videos planned for you guys that Hype 24 helped me out with. So if you're in the market, you're looking to shoes, you're looking to buy shoes, sell shoes, and Hype 24-7 is where you want to look. Now, if we being honest, it's a lot of talks about this shoe, and I really hope that y'all like it because if y'all don't like this shoe, I'm not sure what y'all gonna like. A lot of people was in the comments about the last sneaker I did, which was the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaire, and even though I seen the millions of people online say they love it, for some reason when I did my review, everybody seemed to hate it. So I don't, I don't know what y'all like no more. All right, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me pull out the box and whoo! Man, this thing looks amazing. Once again, to me, it looks good. The Air Jordan 1 High 85, Georgetown. Now you can just see in this up close review that the material on here is pretty smooth. The colors is pretty crisp. It actually reminds me of the Nike Dunk Low uh, Georgetown, but this one is a little bit better to me. It's something about the colorway, it's really cool, really smooth, almost give me like that, that cool gray vibe. And this Summit White in the midsole is really, really popping. This here is a colorway that I know a lot of people been hinting towards that they're looking forward to. And I think that a lot of the shoes that's starting to pop right now are the more minimalistic, dumbed down sneakers. I also think that's why the Nike Dunk has done so well. A lot of the most popular colors are just simple. Look at the Panda Dunk, the Brazil Dunk, the Syracuse Dunk, UNLV. Basic, simple color blocking that can go a lot with anything. And that's what I see when I look at this Air Jordan 1 Georgetown. So as you guys see, they switched up the box this time with this Air Jordan 1. We normally get like a black and red box with the Air Jordan 1 but it looked like they decided to reverse it. We get an all red box with some black Nike branding on the top of the box and on the side as well. This is actually my size, a size 12. I'm happy about that, man. And it looks kind of big, I'm not gonna lie. I, I have not had like one of these Air Jordans with the leather quality that I'm holding in a very long time. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video, but I think y'all gonna be excited about this one. Now the box even have like some different wrapping paper. It got like the Air Jordan 23. It also has the Air Jordan Jumpman logo and the Wingman all on the wrapping paper inside the box. You can check it out and see it here that the Air Jordan branding paper is kind of cool. It's not in every other Jordan box, so I thought I'd point it out. So when it comes to the retro high 85 look, Jordan brand has done this before with like a few other sneakers. Seen it with the Air Jordan 1 New Beginnings. We seen it with the Varsity Red in 2020. And last but not least, we seen it with that, ne oh, what was it? Like a, a neutral gray, the high 85 as well. Now the release date on this sneaker is supposed to be sometime in April. It's not set in stone, but what is set in stone is the retail price, guys. The retail price is $200 retail, which is crazy because we all know that the normal retail price for Air Jordan 1 is 170 At max, maybe 180 but $200 is a price point that... Ah, I don't know. I don't know, man. $200. I mean, look, I'm holding it in hand. Would I pay $200 for this? Yes, you know what I'm saying? I actually would, but I'm thinking about like the majority of the people out there, majority of the sneaker consumers. I know people are paying way more than $200 when it comes to resale, but that's what I'm thinking about. Like resale prices for shoes like this that's already being retailed at $200. If you don't pick this shoe up now, you definitely gonna be paying $400 to $420 just for a pair. It sucks, man, but it's just like reality. So make sure if you want this sneaker that you definitely tap in and try your best to get your hands on it because there's no telling what the after market on a $200 pair of retail Air Jordan 1s will be. Let's dive into some details on this Air Jordan High 85 Georgetown, starting with the outer sole. So the outer sole is pretty much consumed of one color blocking, which is that Georgetown College colorway. Moving up to the midsole, we get a nice summit white that really pops. 
And on the uppers, we go back to that Georgetown College blue, and then we get a lot more of this tech gray that's pretty much on the tote box and on the side panel. Now, I'm not Jordan Brand, so I'm not telling you why they're marketing this shoe at $200, but what I can say is I think some of that price point has to do with the leather quality on this shoe. Now, I'm gonna get some B-roll over the course to show you guys, but this leather quality is pretty good, but it's not your tumbled, it's not like your really uh, detailed leather. It's pretty much flat. It's a flat leather all around the entire shoe. I mean, that's from the back heel, that's from the upper where the wing mat is, from the toe box, from the Nike swoosh. It's the same leather all the way around. It's just genuine and it feels good. It's a very heavy leather too. If we being honest, this is a very heavy Air Jordan 1. And it's not because of the size 12. I wear a size 12, so I would know if that was the case. It's just a very genuine, high genuine, and a high heavy leather around this entire sneaker. And you can see it as we check it out. It's nothing too detailed about it, but the leather does feel like it's not cheap. It feels expensive. It feels like one of those more luxurious Air Jordan ones that, you know, will be retail for $200. So if I had to guess why the price point is so high, I think it will go right back to the leather quality. The tongue is a little weird to me too, because unlike any other tongue where you'll get like a secondary color along the tongue, you almost get like this spongy, almost like a nylon or a, a yellowish tint to the tongue as well. And it's a little bit different. It's like a different shade. Of course, you get the uh, Nike Air logo on the top of the tongue. And another cool detail on this sneaker is the folding card on the side of the Air Jordan 1. Now I know Jordan brand is really big on nostalgia and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why they decided to put the card on the side of the shoe, just to give it like that old school feel. Me personally, I think it's a cool touch. If you open up the card, you'll see like a little bit more information about the Air Jordan 1. They talk about the air sole, they even talk about some of the technology and the things that go inside of it. It's kind of nostalgic because you remember when we used to get Air Jordans and in every Air Jordan box, it would be a Jordan card. I guess it's only right since it is like a high 85 that they bring something back from 1985 by giving us some nostalgia on the tongue or on the side of the shoe, so I'm not mad at that. But when it comes to laces, it comes standard with the gray laces going all the way through. I think that might be the best, neatest, safest way. Uh, this Navy, this college Navy on the Air Jordan 1 Georgetown is pretty popping and eye, and eye grabbing, I'm not gonna lie. So they do have secondary laces actually right here and it's that the secondary Navy colorway. I don't think that you would need to switch it to this Navy though, because like I said, if you can look on the Air Jordan 1, the, the college Navy, trust me, the color is rich enough to pull attention. I think if you was to use the gray laces, it'd be a great color combo to bounce off each other and give you the perfect look. I know it's a little bit early in the year, but I do want to say we have seen a few pair of Air Jordan ones to get an idea of what we're going to be looking forward to this year. We got the Air Jordan One Marina Blue. We even got the Air Jordan One Brotherhood. This is a few shoes that came out to kind of set the stakes and let us know what Jordan Brand is planning to do with the Air Jordan One. But this is the first high 85 of the year, so I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm very excited about it. Hey, listen, before we head out of here, guys, I have to tell you to make Make sure you follow me over on Twitter. I talk a lot about sneakers. I even give you guys a lot of updates on what's going on. Even if you don't know what's going on in sneaker news, the best way to get at me, reach me, is follow me on Twitter. Lastly, guys, these early videos, man, I really hope that they're helpful to people who want to see what sneakers look like before they make the purchase. So if you can hit the thumbs up on this video, it really would mean a lot to me because it helps the video do a lot better later in the algorithm. That's pretty much it for this video. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions of the Air Jordan 1 Georgetown 85 High. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. It is your boy, Snapper Jones, you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but really putting in that work though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.